and soul of the game is at the boxing voice. Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing voice. I lose him up a cop and he just Batista. And I just wanted to tell you that this is what boxing's all about. Two young guys, great warriors, very close. HBO had a new ball. Ese. Es que mi, eh, bueno, puede estar acá, bueno, tampoco. Pues. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's anyway. It was a great fight. It was great working with Oscar and Golden Boy. And that's the kind of fight that these two great fighters gave the TV people and the fans for our support, and it was just fabulous, it was just fabulous. And I want to thank both of them for what they did and how they fought. Uh, I understand it was a draw on HBO, and uh, Lucas won the fight, congratulate him, and uh, basically, I'd like to watch him say a few words and then want to fight you. Thank you, thank you, Artie. Uh, first of all, thank you, Artie, for, uh, for your great hospitality. Uh, like we said before, this fight, this fight could have taken place anywhere, anywhere around the world, and we would have had this type of turned out, uh, sold out, uh, to capacity crowd. Uh, the fight was excellent; uh, exceeded everybody's expectations. Uh, Provokov, what? What can I say? Well, what can we say? He's an incredible fighter with a huge heart. That's why people love him. That's why people love watching him uh, fight. Uh, that's why he's adored by so many fans uh, across the world because he comes to fight till that last second of that last round. Um, but then again, it shows you the abilities and the talent that Lucas Matisse uh, possesses. Um, he, he had a great strategy, he had a great game plan. Uh, it was a great fight. Uh, you know, there's really just admiration for both guys. That, that's all there is, and so we just want to thank all the fans who, uh, who made this happen, uh, who, uh, who, were, uh, who were talking about this fight. Uh, weeks before it even happened, uh, saying that it's going to be fight of the year. I mean, people were not disappointed. People just watched a terrific, terrific fight. So, it, uh, congratulations, uh, Provoknikov, and uh, let me uh, pass you over to uh, Lucas Matisse. Lucas. No, thank you, thank you all for being here. I just want to thank one, one, one more time Oscar the Lawyer Golden Boy Promotions, Mario Arano, Arano, Arano Bobos Promotions, and uh, Eric. <laughs> Bernard Hopkins. Oh yeah, Bernard Hopkins also. I want to thank you. La verdad que bueno, muy contento. Hicimos un buen trabajo. Sabíamos que teníamos una pelea muy dura. Muchas gracias a Ruslan Provnikov por esta gran pelea. Dejamos todo arriba arriba. Espero que la gente le haya gustado. And you know, we knew it was going to be a tough fight. This was a tough fight. I just want to thank Ruslan. He deserves a lot of praise. Uh, he, he put up a great fight, and I just want to thank him very much for this fight. And I think we, we both put up a good fight. Así que bueno, muy contento y espero venir en la próxima y brindar una gran pelea como la esta noche. And uh, once again, I'm very happy, and, and I would love to come back here, fight here again, uh, uh, and give you guys a great fight here.
we have any questions? Uh, okay, yes, I'm uh, sorry. Go ahead, Artie. Now, Ruslan will talk to you guys as well. And I just wanted to tell, like Oscar said, and I'm very proud of both of these guys. It was a very close fight. I believe Harold Letterman, as I said earlier, had a draw. So, Ruslan, you'll be, uh, I say we should do a rematch. I've already discussed it with Moment Boy. So that's what the fans want to see, a trilogy. But that, that's for another time. Anyway, Ruslan Provocative. Yeah. What can I say? Uh, first of all, I definitely want to congratulate uh, the team of Lucas Mutise and Lucas himself with uh, this great, uh, th great but not easy win. Uh, своих фанатов, которых подвел, знаю, как на родине, на моей земле, за меня очень болели, переживали. Утром проснулись, чтобы смотреть этот бой. Удачи чуть-чуть от меня снова отвернулась, либо И ничего оправдания. Во всех своих неудачах виноват себя только на сами. Сегодня проиграл. Yeah. I want to apologize again to my team, to all my fans. Uh, I'm sorry that I disappointed you. Uh, today maybe I was unlucky. I don't want to. I don't have any uh, excuses. Today I lost the fight again, and uh, I know that uh, in my country, in my hometown, and my land, a lot of people woke up very early to watch this fight, and I uh, disappointed them. Uh, I'm sorry for that, and uh, you know, it happened the way it happened. Ну и знаете, что если вы те фанаты хотите увидеть снова такой этот бой в нас в Ленинге с Матисой, я открыт, открыт всегда для любого, готов ехать куда угодно и драться за любые деньги. Для меня важно только то, что я делаю в ринге. Горю себя вам. Пусть и такой ценой, что рынок не достается. And uh, if any of the fans, if anybody who saw this fight tonight wants to see the fight again, I'm open to the fight. I'm open to fight anybody as always, for any money in any country. Uh, doesn't matter to me. And I fight for you guys. And I'm willing to give all myself away for the fans and for my team and for my uh, fans back home. And I'm open to any opportunities and I'm open to fighting in a rematch if that's what the fans want. Самое главное, мне не стыдно ни перед чем. Я честен перед вами, я честен перед собой, за то, что я то, что я обещаю, я сдерживаю свое слово. За это мне стыдно. Я даю вам то, что я вам обещаю. The most important uh, for me after this fight, there's nothing that I have to, um, there's nothing that I said before the fight and didn't do. I like to say things that I'm responsible for and that I will do in the ring, and I don't think I've said anything before this fight that I didn't do, and that makes me feel a little bit better. Надо быть мужчиной и просто признать, что сегодня Лукас, видимо, был просто чуть сильнее меня. И он заслужил эту победу. Поэтому я поздравляю еще раз его команду и его самого. Дай Бог, чтобы все с ним было хорошо, с его семьей. Я обязательно поставлю свечку, когда приеду в Россию и пойду в церковь. Я думаю, что мы еще увидимся с вами обязательно. The most, the most important is that uh, everybody's healthy. Uh, Lucas and his team, uh, Lucas as well, and he's healthy and I am too. And uh, 
when I come home uh, to Russia, I'll, I'll go to church as I always do, and I'll light a candle for him, for him, for his family, and for his health. And to me, uh, he was better tonight. He was the better man in the ring. And you know, it was a close fight, but he won. And I, I hope everybody enjoyed. It. Еще раз хочу сказать, если вы хотите увидеть нас в ринге с фокусом, я открыт в любое время, в любом месте, присылайте контакт, я готов драться с кем угодно, когда угодно. И еще одно, хочу еще раз поблагодарить Golden Boy, Ван Промоушен, самое главное, из его, что они поверили моим словам. Взяли этот бой. Я думаю, что надеюсь, что они не разочаровались. Надеюсь, что я их не подвел. And I want to say once again that if there there is going to be a rematch discussed, just send me the contract and I'll sign it. And I want to say thank you to Golden Boy Banner Promotions, HBO for putting this together. And uh, I hope that I didn't disappoint you because you guys believed in me and I hope this was the fight you guys wanted. Да, я видел, и я понимал, что я мог ее закончить. Но... Так сложилось, это судьба, но опять чуть-чуть мне не повезло. Yes, I, I acknowledged what was going on. I know that he was hurt. Um, it happened the way it happened, you know. Maybe it's, maybe I was a little unlucky, maybe he was luckier, but uh, I couldn't finish the fight. Bueno, sí, sí, la verdad que sí, sentí un poco de golpe, pero, pero bueno, me pude sostener ahí en pelea. Eh, eh, sí, sentí una mano, la verdad que un peleador muy fuerte que siempre venía para frente, no sabía cómo pararlo. Eh, la verdad que, que te felicito, ¿no? Por tu gran corazón de Roberto. Y se dice, ya, 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 Uh, so uh, I just want to thank him. I want to thank him for giving a good fight and uh, congratulate him. Um, hi, um, Michelle Phelps with Behind the Gloves. Um, this question is both for Oscar and for Lucas. The WBO president tweeted that he would like to see Lucas Matisse face Terrence Crawford. Is that something you guys are willing to negotiate and is he willing to face Terrence Crawford? We, uh, We have many options at 140 pounds. Um, I had said before this fight that Lucas Matisse um, deserves, um, and obviously no disrespect to Provokhov uh, before the fight, but uh, I said that he deserves to be against the big names like Pacquiao and Mayweather, uh, not necessarily the toughest, Because the toughest was Provokhov, but the big names like Manny Pacquiao and, 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 and Mayweather. So Lucas has many options. Uh, Artie Palulo uh, wants a rematch. Uh, there's a, a lot of fighters out there at 140. Uh, uh, Lucas uh, maybe wants to go up to 147. So the, we're gonna we're gonna explore every option and, uh, and we'll take it from there. But first thing, you know, he's gonna. Rest, relax, and then we'll regroup and, uh, and make a decision. No, no, bueno, ahora descansar. Eh, tengo a mi hija y mi familia que me está esperando en Argentina. Tomar unos días y bueno, después empezar a prepararnos para el ganador de mi juego de partido. 
He said, uh, right, for right now, I just want to rest. I want to rest. I got my daughter and my family waiting for me back home. I want to rest. I want to go back there and see them so much. And uh, and let's see what happens with Pacquiao Mayweather. Let's see what happens with that fight. That's the... Justin, it's not on. Uh, my, my question is for uh, Lucas. I wanted to know if he watched uh, the Chris Algieri tape versus Ruslan before this fight, and uh, did he feel any significant, um, I guess, did he get tired because he seemed to be initiating a lot of clinches towards the end of the fight? Um, yeah, that's one of the fights I studied. That's one of the fights we saw, uh, the Algeria fight. And uh, yeah, I, I did get, I get, I got tired. The last three rounds, I got tired, and that's because I boxed. I moved so much in the fight. Uh, I felt very, very strong, uh, but I did get tired the last three rounds, and uh, I thought I did a good. Good, a good fight, and I, I won most of those rounds by boxing. Well, Lucas Matiz. Okay. Um, the question is, uh, it's a question that you know, uh, how would you compare what happened in the fight? Uh, by what you thought was going to happen. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I, I knew I knew he was gonna keep coming forward. I knew he was gonna be a, 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 a strong, tough fighter, and uh, I, I prepared for that. I prepared for that, and I I did exactly what my corner asked me to do, and I prepared for that. And uh, I felt that uh, that I won the fight. I did part of the team. Anything else, guys? <coughs> no. Eh, no, no, sabía que íbamos a ser una gran pelea, sabíamos que yo sabía que tenía que entregar todo, sabía el peleador que tenía enfrente, eh, sabía que iba a ser una gran pelea, seguramente va a ser eh, la pelea del año, porque los dos dimos una gran pelea, estamos todos arriba del rey. Eh, eh, sí, sí, fue una gran pelea. I knew it was going to be a great fight. I knew, I knew what I had in front of me, I knew it was going to be a great fight, and, uh, and uh, it should be fun here, I think, because you know, we both fought with a lot of heart, and we left everything in that ring. Next question. Uh, 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 question. То есть ни в бою, ни перед боем я вообще за это не думал, не переживал. Я просто выходил в ринге и сделал свою работу. То, что от меня ждали мои фанаты, моя команда. Показать речный бой и выиграть обязательно. Вот и все. О том, что речный бой, там еще что-то. Я не переживал за его тяжелый удар, то, что они все подготовлены, что они меня накрутили. То есть меня это не волновало, я за это не переживал. И, я знал. Куда я иду? Это мой осознанный выбор, это мое решение, поэтому не думал и не переживал вообще ни за что. Я готов а, ко всему, что со мной случится. В ринге это моя работа. Вы хотели этого, вы это получили.
There was a lot of hype definitely before the fight, uh, you know, about possibly this fight being fight of the year. I, I can't say that it affected me in any way. You know, I was very calm and I, I took this as another fight. Um, you know, I, I didn't worry about his punching power. I, it was just another fight for me. And uh, I knew it was a big fight, but I, I took this fight myself. I'm the one that asked for this. I wanted it. And uh, I can't say that, the, that I, I lost the fight because of the punching power. And yeah, I didn't think about how to create a more exciting fight. The fight went the way it is, and hopefully it was exciting. Um, I fought the way I fight. You know, I, I, I fought the way that I usually fight and in the style that I fight. I didn't make any changes. And uh, hopefully everybody's satisfied. Um, Thank you all. Uh, I have a question for uh, Lucas Martinez. Uh, this is the last one. The next question. Um, going into this fight, did you believe that you were the more dynamic fighter, the more versatile fighter, and do you think that is what truly separated you from a more basic roller like Kravagnikov? And is the jab something that you're going to continue to use a little bit more often in future fights. Eh, sí, sí, la verdad que sí, yo ya pisando suelo de Estados Unidos, eh, me siento ganador, vengo a ganar siempre. Eh, la verdad que, que sí, tuve que usar bastante ya ¿no? para poder frenar un poco. Eh, bueno, me ha enseñado, ¿no? Me ha enseñado que tengo que, que seguir usando el rock para, para frenar a mis peleadores, ¿no? You know, whenever I come to the U.S., I always think I'm going to win. I always come to win. That's what I come here for, to win. So I always felt that I was going to win this fight. And uh, yeah, you know, the jab was key in this fight. And it's something that I'm going to continue to use because uh, that's a very, very important punch. And uh, I can stop fighters from coming in. That's it. Thank you very much, everybody. These guys are hungry, so thank you, guys. Thank you all for being here.